videos. shaking this oh my god I'm literally shaking oh my god oh my god Oh my god, we weren't even trying. This month, oh my god. Are you alone? Yeah. We weren't even trying this month. Mackenzie, I'm literally four days away from starting my period. I had a dream last night, another dream that I was pregnant and I literally took a test just now, after bedtime, because I'm like, it's just nagging me, it's nagging me. I'm literally fine. Oh no, it's, it's there. <laughs> oh my god. Like, of course I'm so happy, but what the f When did you have sex? Like, what, what was the timing of, like, your ass and blah, blah, blah? <sighs> oh yeah. my god. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Okay, so we. It. Oh my god. It had to have. It had to have been this day, the 13th. I would have literally just started ovulating which is not even your ovulation you know what i mean yeah but it, it sperm was in you for seven days B B it, 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 it happens when it's meant to happen oh my god this is wild oh my god <laughs> one time because i went on a bachelorette i went on my friend's bachelorette or maybe you ovulated way earlier than that because you also had sex on the 10th but that's like literally i'm supposed to start my period very soon you know what i mean like that's on par that is really you're not early even late. you're not even oh my god you're not even late at all Dream. take another one take another one Bring mackenzie it. no i know i know but i want you to take another one tomorrow you're, that is so early i mean that is as positive as a positive can get four days before my miss period all right, so a little backstory. Oh my God, I'm so not prepared for this. Oh my God, I'm so, oh my God. So me and Jarrett, we weren't even trying this month. We've been trying since June, so it's currently July. Oh my God, we've, okay. So we tried, we tried, okay, so we, okay. April, when London turned one, I told myself, okay, we can start trying, but we weren't together on like my ovulation. So like whenever we were together, we would just, you know, try, but like, it wasn't necessarily like a good try because I wasn't ovulating. We were just like, maybe. So then in June, so that was May, June, I started like really honing in on my symptoms and my everything, like my cycle, trying to prepare. So we tried really hard in June. I didn't get pregnant. So I was like, okay. So then we go to Nantucket. I have my period. And then I had this in my head. This is when, this is whenever you try to tell God your plans and he just laughs at you because it's never our plan. It is always God's plan. <sighs> I told myself I didn't want an April baby because I wanted Lennon to have her month. And I firmly believe that because me and my sisters, we all are super close, but we all have our own month of our birthday. You know what I mean? So I was like, let's just pause. And we weren't even gonna be together because I was going to a bachelorette, one of my best friend's bachelorette in California on my ovulation time. And then he was going to Denver. So I wasn't gonna see him. So we weren't trying this month. And so my green week was literally that start of that day. I'm pregnant. 
which I'm so happy, but like, oh my God, I'm in shock. Like I am literally in shock. Like I said, you wanna make God laugh? You tell him your plans and that is exactly what he will do. He'll make you laugh because I don't know, maybe it was, it was just something I needed to, to, I mean, I guess I, I wasn't necessarily stressed about trying, but I was like, you know, it's weird to try. Like it's so different trying than like accidentally getting pregnant and maybe I just needed to get pregnant accidentally again to like get out of the mindset of trying. I don't know. Reverse psychology. But the reason why I took a test, I'm literally four days away from my period. So who knows what could happen, but I'm documenting this now just in case like you never know. But I'm four days away from my missed period and your girl had a dream. And guess the last time I had a dream was when I was pregnant with London. I had a dream that I was pregnant and I don't know if it was a boy or girl in my dream, but I just remember having a dream I was pregnant and in my head I go, oh my God, I haven't had a dream that I was pregnant since I was pregnant. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna wait to take a test until I miss my period because last time, like during June, whenever we were trying and all that, it was just so stressful, like taking a test every single day up until I had my period. So I was like, I'm just never gonna take a test again until I miss my period. Well, I had that dream and then, so weird, Jared's sunglasses, the Tom Ford sunglasses that I gave him for Lennon, like whenever I was telling him that I was pregnant with Lennon, it was on the table and I was like, why are these here? And he was like, oh, I was like cleaning out my backpack. Like I just didn't want them in there anymore. And I was like, weird. And that was literally the day I had the dream. And I was like, are these signs to take a test? I don't know. So that was yesterday. Today I had this nagging feeling, just take a test, take a test, just do it. If it's negative, then you can have fun, you can relax, like you don't have to think about it until you miss your period. But if it's positive, like these signs were right. Four days, four days until my missed period. And it's positive. I don't even know if you can see that. I'm gonna take a digital one just to make sure and I'm still gonna monitor, but like I was fully, I mean it is currently it is currently 8.05, 8.05 p.m. And it showed up that positive four days before my missed period. Like I'm pregnant. <laughs> it's not even my first pee of the day. Oh my God. I literally ran to grab my vlog camera because I was like, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I literally didn't even have my camera going because I did not assume it was going to be positive. Oh my God. Now I have to... How am I going to tell Jared? <laughs> Have to keep the tradition alive of me calling you when I'm pregnant. I'm so excited. <sighs> Gabby. I cannot believe that. This was literally the only, you want to know how many times we had sex? Once. Do you want to know what's really funny? Last time you called me, I was also taking my makeup off. <laughs> well, funny thing is I ordered these donuts way before I found out I was pregnant and I've been actually having a crazy craving for donuts. So love that for me. And also here are the Tom Ford glasses, the ones I was just talking about, just sitting here on the table randomly. My sign. All right, I'm going to take a digital just to be sure. All right. Well, now I'm like, what if this one says I'm not pregnant? Now I'm gonna be stressed. Oh my God, freaking out. I cannot believe this. Oh my God. That is some positive pregnancy dose. Okay y'all, it is currently the next morning. I slept horribly last night because I'm like, I just wanna tell Jared so bad. And today is gonna be, what's up with this piece of hair? All right. I'm gonna have to... <sighs> Anyways. We're heading to Bronco's practice to go see Jarrett and then of course I'm gonna tell him this is gonna be the last time I see him until like literally next week so like I have to tell him right now, like today. 
I mean, I obviously wish I would have told him last night if he was here, but I just always want to do it in person. Like, and then my mom comes in today, so I'm gonna tell her today. I'm so excited. But we gotta go in the car. I'm so nervous. I can't believe I'm gonna have two of those running around. <laughs> Lennon, come on, Lennon, let's go. No eating the fuzz. Give it back. Give it. Back. Let's get in the car. Come on. I still have orange bows I'm putting her in, but uh. Blippi! Look at her shoes, y'all. I die! Can I please have it? Okay. We're at a stoplight, so I'm gonna try to explain what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna, we're obviously gonna take a family picture, and then I'm gonna say, oh wait, can you go in my bag and grab uh, my phone? I wanna take it on my phone or something. Maybe we take it on the camera, I don't know. And then the pregnancy test will be right there. That's my plan. All right, we're here. I need to take a breather. I'm so nervous. I don't know why. He's just gonna be so shocked. Because like I said, we've been trying, but we were pausing. Like we, I mean, we tried for two months and then we took a pause because I did not want an April baby. <laughs> He's gonna be shocked. Oh my God. All right, well, let's go in. Pretty dope, I've never been here yet. So, making memories at the Broncos already. Lennon, it's okay. Okay, okay, wait, just, can you grab my phone real fast? Come here, baby. Okay, it's okay. Wait, do you see what just fell out? Look in. Look in. Are you serious? Don't make that big of a deal, babe. Shush, we're in public. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> when? Oh, literally last night. Lily. Lily. I am shocked because we weren't even trying this one. You know when it was? Have kisses? Lennon, can you say baby? Love you. Love you. Yeah. So, thoughts? Mom, mama. Thoughts? Here. Jared? Um. <laughs> Are you shocked? Shocked, actually. <laughs> it's funny how it works like You're that, huh? Big. Okay, my mom's about to be here, and I just put the pregnancy test inside the Krispy Kreme donuts. So. That's the plan for her. Okay, actually, you'll be her favorite person if you give her a donut. Is she ready for it? Yeah, she's ready for dessert. <laughs> what? Wait, do you have a paper towel? What? 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 Oh my. <laughs> no, don't give her a donut. Just read the pregnancy oh. test. see you because we got something to show you. <laughs> I don't know when the next time I'm gonna see you. Let's go, baby! Dude! <laughs> Tell me what you did to me. Oh my Daddy, God. I literally put the pregnancy test in the Krispy Kreme donuts and I told mama, this here, right here, I told mama, I go, to get it, give it was sitting donut. right there, I go, can you give Lennon a donut? 
She had no idea. I kept her going like this, and it was right here. <laughs> she had no idea. Oh my god. Wait, let me flip it. Baby, I'm so happy for you. Okay, don't tell the girls yet. So she don't tell the girls. I'm gonna tell Addison tomorrow. see you because me and Addison were just talking about that whenever you want well no soccer season and everything yeah okay well you might want to come see me soon yet so I need to tell Mickey. <laughs> she's having like a meltdown. I'm Maybe sweating. we shouldn't have done this while she's driving. <laughs> Do you need a second to gather yourself? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> um <laughs> you good? <laughs> Yeah, she was very happy. So <laughs> this is fun. We're missing you. All right. Well, what day is it? It's currently August 28th, so it's been one month since I found out I was pregnant. One month and two days. One month and two days. Yeah, because you just realized it was... I didn't realize it was that long ago. So I haven't really given any baby updates since then. Um, Wait, right. you gave a baby update then? I mean, I found out I was pregnant, then I told you, then I told my mom, and then I haven't done any updates since then. Oh, for the vlog. Yeah, for the vlog. No. This I don't is that. I don't know what you what you have or haven't done. No, that's it. Cause I mean, I haven't had any appointments. I've only had like blood work, so I went in for blood work to like test my levels, which I never did with Lennon, which is so weird because with Lennon, since I was like spotting, I got an ultrasound immediately at six weeks. So this pregnancy has already been so different, which is like wild it's, it's been about the same for me <laughs> so i'm eight weeks right now we are currently sitting outside the parking lot of our first appointment real one and um my first ultrasound so i'm very excited for that we're very excited very but yeah like i said this pregnancy has been a lot different already because I'm like so much more nauseous than i was lennon i'm so exhausted but Long obviously time. That comes with like having a toddler because first pregnancy, if I'm tired, like I just lay down. Can't do that. Can't do that with a toddler. So that has been linen rules. And I've just been starving like all the time. I just did like what I eat in a day and I'm going to look like laugh looking back because I ate so much and it's just, 
I'm growing a child again. I just forget how hungry I am all the time. Um, but yeah, the nausea is definitely new because I haven't like thrown up or anything, but it is just like very overwhelming to where I'm like, whew, I need a second. So this is my first ultrasound today. We're gonna try to sneak a video. Hopefully Jared does. Sometimes they let you film, sometimes they don't. But uh. And try my best. And try our best. We'll get to hear a heartbeat, hopefully. We'll get to see if there's one or two, hopefully just one. <laughs> God, two. We've already talked about like the gender and everything. We won't find out the gender obviously until like 12 weeks when we do like the testing. Um, God, if there was some way to know today. I would, I would love to know today. God, I would kill to know today. It's so crazy. I, I told him, I was like, I would love a boy just to like knock it out and like know like, oh, we have our boy. Like, I don't care after that. You know what I mean? Because I want at least one of each. And then we were thinking, we're like, okay, but since these, this baby is going to be so close in age to Lennon, I wouldn't mind if it was a girl and they're like little besties, like how me and my sisters are. So I don't know. It's up in the air. We have way more boy names than we have girl names. So that's the other <laughs> issue is like, I'm just glad if it's a boy because then... she has no names. I have names. No, we don't. We have, I, again, if you have followed our birth journey with London, you know, I have lots of names from like over the years that we've just collected and kept, but they're mainly uh, TV characters, TV show characters. Yeah. It's pretty much, except for that's kind of like Lennon didn't come from that, but um, most of our know. names are from John Lennon. Most of our names are from TV, like our favorite TV shows. Characters. Yeah. Well, boys at least, but sure. yeah, it's really just the boys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, so today we're gonna find out due date, we're gonna see the, the, uh, heartbeat, and make sure that everything's okay, and we will update y'all afterwards, I'm so excited, I feel like we can go on 15 minutes early, right? Sure, why not, live life on the edge, maybe they'll get us in early. I would love that. Okay, currently... Baby is a raspberry in my tummy. A little raspberry. Okay, let's go. Okay. There's little nugget. Only like one. One nugget. Only one. I kind of wanted there to be two. Heartbeat was 177 with Lennon. We were 181 um, on the first one. I'm gonna have to go back and watch all of our other appointments. I just yeah. forget everything. Yeah, I don't remember everything. Um, due date? Due date is April 5th. <laughs> right around April 1st. But I'm hoping I go early again so that would put it at mid March or end of March. So start praying for me to go early right now. Or you just do April 1st and then we can do joint birthday parties. No, no joint birthday parties. Joint everything. No, that's my pet peeve. I great. don't want it. Don't want it, but then watch, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. No, I don't want it because I don't want any kid to feel like they have to share their special day with the other. Yeah. It's annoying enough. They each have their own identity. They're each gonna have their own birthdays. Please God, please. Please let them have their own birthdays. And I would just hate to miss Lennon's birthday in the hospital. You know what I mean? Like, she's going to be two. She's going to understand it's her birthday. It's so yeah, sad. That's a good point. Well, healthy baby so far. Heartbeat due date for five. Immediately, whenever she put it back on the screen, though, I was saying he in my head. Jared didn't feel anything, but I felt... Yeah, I didn't feel... I felt a he. I didn't feel like it was... But we'll see. Necessary. Maybe that's just me, like, wishing, but... But, guess we'll see. We got another month. Oh, yeah. We'll so find I go, out in six weeks, right? So I go back at... No. No, but it takes... 10 14 days, you're right. Yeah. So, I go at 12 weeks for my um, next ultrasound to make sure everything's looking good. And then we're going to do the genetic testing to see if it's a boy or girl. And make sure everything else is okay. No spina bifida and all that. So, get all that done next time. So, that's probably the next time I'll see y'all. Oh! And we're going to...
we're gonna go get Chick-fil-A because that's a routine of ours after our baby appointments. It's either Waffle House or Chick-fil-A. Today's Chick-fil-A. All right, another pregnancy log in. I am currently 12 weeks. I have my appointment today to do my ultrasound and the gender blood work, which I am so excited. Like I can't even like comprehend what's about to happen. I'm so excited to find out what this baby was. I did have a dream last night that it was a boy. So I haven't had a gender dream like in a long time. I'm so out of breath right now. This is, this is 12 weeks. Um, I literally have never had a gender dream like since London, obviously, but with London, I just had like, like I kept seeing the, like a pink. This time I had like a full blown, like I gave birth to a boy. He was chunky, brown hair. So we'll see if that's even true, but I get my gender blood work done today and I'm so excited. And I guess we haven't done a bump, bump date. So I'm gonna do that for y'all real quick. All right, here's the bump date. It's literally crazy how much faster you start showing with the second baby than you did with the first, like, like that's wild. 12 weeks and I already look like I did it like 25 weeks with linen. Like it's truly crazy how much faster you show. But let me see. Bump, bump, bump. We love it. I honestly miss my bump so much. So like the fact that you get the bump sooner this time is like so much more fun and rewarding. <laughs> but um, oh, ignore my mess. I just cleaned the whole room, but I left a few things to clean. But, but uh, we need to get going to the appointment. Let's go. Say bye, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs> you want to give baby a kiss? Come here, can you give baby a kiss? Oops, dropped my phone. Can you give baby a kiss? Mwah. Thank you. Bye bye. This is one of the uh, the sadder parts about football and pregnancy. Is so today Jarrett won't be able to come, and he's so bummed like he loves going to all the appointments he loves knowing everything I'll take videos for him of course but it's never the same with Lennon he was able to go to every single appointment except for the 20 week appointment but at that point it's like the anatomy scan it's like you know it is like a really important appointment but the 12 week one is always just so like oh my god it's like really real and like you can just take a deep breath like things are over not over but like they're like you know, like the first trimester is about to be over. Like you just feel this relief and yeah, I'm just sad. He's not going to be there with me and I'm nobody. So I'm like nervous kind of because I'm like, okay, what if something, you know, like you, you just kind of like think about all possibilities. Like if something is going to happen, like I'd want someone there with me and I'm, I'm not going to think that way. But, you know, it's just these valid points in pregnancy. The 12 week appointment, you just have like this breath of... <sighs> everything's good, baby's growing, I feel good, I'm almost out of my first trimester, I think first trimester is like literally 13 weeks, so like technically I am out of my first trimester, past 12, whatever, and it's just like it's safe, like, you know, all the things that could happen, the chances are lower and everything, so it's just this nice relief that, yes, I'll get to share with Jared whenever I see him, also I don't know what this wild glare is maybe it's my driving thing but but yeah so that's just what sucks I just wish he could be here and I tried to schedule it to where he could but this one doctor we're seeing he's like one of the best OBGYNs in all of Colorado so I'm like sorry babe really need him to look at this 12 week scan so we know everything's good because I'm not even giving birth in Colorado I think I'm giving birth in Texas so it doesn't even really matter, but like these, like the 12 week and the 20 week are like the most important to so like making sure all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. I think that's how it goes, but, but yeah, just want to share a little tidbit with you guys. But also I have like, literally this pregnancy has been so different. I think I talked about it like last time I vlogged about my like eight week appointment or whatever, but I've been so nauseous. I've been so fatigued and I literally for some reason right whenever I turned 12 weeks like last Friday I 
all of a sudden had all this energy and I like went on a walk with Len and I'm like, oh my God, like this is second trimester energy is real. Like it truly is. Like, of course I'll have my days where I'm like still exhausted, but nothing compared to the first trimester. Like, and I had never had a first trimester like that. Like it was so different than with London. That's why I'm like, okay, is this a boy? Like, I don't know. Is it just because I have a toddler and I have to like juggle that at the same time? Like it's so like, it, it's been so different. And obviously I'm showing so much faster. So like basically everybody around us knows like Jared's teammates know my friends here in Denver. know. I told all my sisters, my best friends, everything, some family members, like cousins or whatever. But Literally, it's just been so much harder to hide at this time. And originally I was like, I think I just want to wait until like 20 weeks. But now I'm like, I just want to, I just want to announce it as soon as possible because I'm so uncomfortable. And like some people will be like, oh my gosh, like you're not doing this and you're not doing that. I'm like, yeah, I can't. I'm not doing it because I'm so tired. But like people catch on. I've had so many, so many people text me and say, I had a dream you were pregnant. And I'm like what like why are you guys having all these dreams about me being pregnant like so crazy but and yeah so moral of the story first trimester has been so different but I'm getting a lot more energy now and my aversions have been ridiculous like my food aversions are insane like I am not hungry like I do not want to eat anything until I know what I want to eat and then I'm like starving does that make sense like everything sounds horrible until I'm like ooh, like a meatball sub sounds so good so I'll order the meatball sub if you watched one of my what I eat in the day vlogs I was literally just following my pregnancy <laughs> cravings the whole day but I like this time around like with Lennon all I wanted to eat was like fresh food I wanted acai bowls I wanted like the freshest fruit like I wanted smoothies and then this time around all I want is the crappiest food I can find like I want meatball subs I want sandwiches I want wings I want chicken tenders I want chick-fil-a every single day <laughs> but like also I just feel like I'm eating that because I know it will make me nauseous and I know it won't like upset my stomach so yeah so this time around it's so, it's so different but I'm still loving it and I miss my bump so much. I love my bump. I love having a bump. I love pregnancy. Even with the little little um bumps it comes with, but okay, I'm about to pull up. I'm getting more nervous. Ooh! I'll try to film in the room. Last time we had Jarrett sneak film, so I'm gonna have to like literally film on my phone while she is touching my belly, so we'll figure that out. But I'm I'm determined to get some videos because it's just the best to look back on. Like, I still look back on Lennon, so. All right. We are turning in. Whoa! Why does my first initial thing to go for the camera rather than just to keep driving? I don't know. But it's just me in this car. All right. I'm here. Okay. I'll catch up with y'all after. Moving, it's moving. Mm -hmm. Thirteen weeks. Did he measure in the head last time? Measuring thirteen weeks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little head moving. Mm -hmm. Well, here's our baby. Everything looks fantastic. Just got my blood drawn for gender and all the genetic testing and everything to make sure everything's great. And wow, I just like, I love this office. Like I loved our place in Boston, um, but I love this place so much. Like they're so sweet. And one of the off, like manage, managers just gave me her card to like text her. I'm like, oh. 
people are just so nice. Like, they're so nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy. The whole ultrasound, I literally said him, he, hi, hit. I'm like, watch this be a girl. Why did I just say hit? I don't even know. I was like, him, he, it, like, just kept going over and over. But I literally was like, oh my god, I need to stop saying he. Because if it's a girl, it's a girl. Like, it's not a boy. Like, you never know. I mean, I don't know yet, obviously, but... I think just my dream just really put that in my head, which it was a very vivid dream. So I'm like, if if it's a girl, I'm going to be shocked, but I would love a girl and a boy for two different reasons. Like I really, I truly like when people say, do you want one or the other? If you would have asked me this, like before getting pregnant, I would have said, boy, like I want a boy so bad. But now that I'm pregnant and I'm thinking of it, I'm like, I don't even know if I've been over this yet. I think I did. But like, if they're like, since Lennon, and this baby are going to be so close in age. I'm like, it would be so cool if it was a girl so they could be best friends. But like, if it's a boy, then they're still going to, oh my God, my hiccups. <sighs> if it's a boy, they're still going to be best friends. So I'll oh, like, there's a little angel orb. I love that. Um, but yeah, I'm not like, it's it, like, again, I feel like I'm going to get this question so much throughout this pregnancy. Like, I just really, I, I don't care. I would love a boy to knock it out and just be like, I got my boy. I don't care what the next gender is, whatever. But if I have a girl, I'd be so happy for them to be best friends. But, and then I, the third baby, I'd be like, okay, I better get my boy. Like, I need my boy. So, I'm so excited. It's a cutie. See, I didn't say he. Mm. Has Jared's nose already. Like, I can totally tell it has Jared's nose. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Look at his whole arm. Like, and then his, his, I just said his, oh my God. It's head just staring at us. Looks like a ninja turtle. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. Um, I was measuring a whole week ahead. She was like, are you, like, were you measuring a week ahead last time? And I was like, no, I was exactly what I was when I came in. And she goes, huh, okay. But I'm 12 weeks and three days. So like I turn every Friday and I was measuring 13 weeks. So only like, how many is that? Like four days ahead. It's like not that much difference. Like I'm still measuring like ahead, but I'm not like a whole entire like difference. It's only like four, but Lennon measured ahead the whole entire pregnancy just because she was bigger in my womb and then she came out seven seven so she was fine but but I did go two weeks early so if I carried her at full term who knows how big she would have been um but yeah we'll see I'm just so excited my next appointments my next appointments will probably be um a normal vlog because I think we're gonna announce soon as soon as this testing comes back so I'm so excited okay see y'all next check in